guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new. First of all, happy 4th of July. Today is Monday, July 4th, and I just wanted to wish you guys a happy 4th. Um, seriously, one of my favorite holidays. Um, this morning, I did go over to the parade, like our local like 4th of July parade, and it was seriously so much fun. Like, I loved it. I one of the like one of my favorite things that I look forward to every single summer but for today's video I'm gonna be reviewing the market peach and strawberry pound cake blend three wick candle from Bath and Body Works of course if you guys want to see my review make sure you guys stay tuned and without further ado let's jump in right into this video all right, you guys, so we're just going to talk about the packaging quickly. Also, if there is a little bit of movement with the camera, I'm having my sibling hold the camera right now. But yeah, this is what the packaging looks like. Um, we have orange to pink ombre, and that's about it. Like, the packaging was pretty much plain for the most part. There wasn't anything special to it. And then also, with this candle that I picked up, I didn't even notice this when I bought it, but this candle was a complete mess. Like, literally, there's wax on the side of the jar, and when I went to before I even burnt it like the wax inside of the actual candle was seriously just like all over the place It wasn't pretty or aesthetic at all as far as the notes go um, We have juicy peaches golden shortcake whipped cream um, Right up. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Pick it up! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Let me film my candle review. Oh my gosh. So, as far, like right off the bat, just smelling it on cold, you're definitely getting strawberry pound cake and market peach, but separate. There's nothing like mixed or blended with the two of them. Like, I just smell both of them just separately if that makes sense and that was the same thing with the fresh balsam and pineapple mango candle on cold like I was just able to smell the two fragrances separately they weren't blended together into one fragrance they were separate with the wicks we have our standard um, rope wicks they're not really thick for the most part and when I was burning this candle it took about like I don't know I want to say maybe like two to two and a half hours for it to completely pull out which is typically a long time in my books like if it's not pulling out within the first hour the, the, the candles gonna give me trouble you guys it's gonna give me trouble so that was another thing that I did find annoying I also did want to talk about the shortcake note the golden shortcake note um, like again like on cold I am smelling like a spongy cake like mmm Maybe like a spongy lemon cake, even though there isn't lemon in here, I just think of a lemon sponge cake. I'm also getting a little bit of like a vanilla bean in the candle as well. I don't, it might be coming from that shortcake too. Like, definitely getting vanilla in the candle. The vanilla bean that you would find in like Vanilla Bean Noel, that is like the same vanilla that I'm getting in this candle. Hey, oh my gosh, now the puppies are crying. Moving on into the throw of the candle, like, mm. The throw, I was kind of disappointed with. I thought this was going to be a stronger throw of candle, but it ended up being a light to medium, um, at least in like an open concept type of area. I'm sure if you were to put this candle in a bedroom, it'd be a lot stronger, but as far as like an open concept type of area, it was on the lighter side. Anyways, you guys, that is going to be everything for today's review. I hope you guys enjoyed, and again, happy 4th of July, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's new video. Bye, guys. I'm not leaving.